Good afternoon. It is 3.21 on Saturday the 22nd of June and I'm about to get ready to go out for tonight but in the meantime we're going to have a quick today in my bujo. How are you? You alright? I hope so. As you can see we're starting to look quite bulky. <laughs> I expected it to be um, I'll show you all that in a minute so let's just finish off yesterday which um, now let me see I did not wear my cap but I did do all the challenges I got caught up all the way back and I even though I'm not very happy with them it's not the actual drawing of it, it's the paint blending that I'm not happy with. You know. I mean, anybody can draw a shape of a mango, it's getting the bloody colours right and the paint is not moving on this paper. So, I am can't wait to go back to my toy with a paper next month. So, yeah. Um, so, I did all the challenges. I can't remember if I had a drink last night or not. I know I had Pepsi, I didn't have any booze. So that's all right. I did have a cola. I did not have chips. I did actually craft. I did some knitting. So all of those ones I can tick off. Yay me! Yesterday wasn't a complete and total bust. <laughs> and if you're wondering what the fuck's going on for my hair, it's just tied up and not to keep it out of my way. Up and down the road painting again. Thanks to Wendy for the hugs while I was painting chair is in full creek mode um, right I didn't number that hang on I keep putting pens down I have a pencil case to keep me organized and to stop me losing shit and I constantly lose shit right so that was number 20 yesterday didn't do 21 <laughs> what the fuck so my mood yesterday I'm going to put it at a 7 because you know I felt okay yesterday really I know I seemed a bit grumpy but it was more residual grumpy from my birthday quite frankly I felt a bit underappreciated by my family you know my lovely mum took me out for lunch because she never really knows what to do about birthdays anymore. So she takes whoever's birthday it is out for lunch. So, you know, we did that. Which is always lovely. You know, I'm not going to say no to free lunch, am I? But yeah, the other's arm was a bit, a bit pissed off for my kids, really. Especially when you go online and you see these Mum's, oh, my kids spoiled me. They went out shopping and they bought me this and this and this and this. And I'm like, yay. I got a handmade card from my four-year-old and a Funko Pop. Which, you know, I wanted the Funko Pop. It was on my wish list. So, you know, I'm not I'm not dizzing that. Thank you to my son that actually, you know, bothered. <laughs> just the others. I'm just like, you're a bunch of assholes, every single one of you. So, right. Yesterday, yesterday, oh, I drove a free so far away. I need to go and have a bath um, and do some maintenance on my hair, and then I'll be all ready for tonight because my friend's hair's in the way. I glanced up and saw it just as I moved. <laughs> Uh, the the band are playing tonight so yay exciting uh, Friday <laughs> yeah that was about all I did I was dreadful wasn't it didn't sort the table out gotta sort that out at some point And that's today right so let's um i'll show you right do the pen 
Okay. And then there was the bit of journaling. So I stuck in, this is a picture of my dad. Uh, my dad passed away on my 32nd birthday from pancreatic cancer. So um, my birthday always starts off with um, a Facebook message and uh, this this photo actually of my dad is one of my favorite photos of him this was before he, probably the last photo taken before he got ill um, and I usually do a little Facebook message and I have a cry because you know he's my dad and although it's now been 12 years I could have really done with him this year I really could have so I have my little cry and I get it all out of my system and then the rest of the day is my birthday yeah um, we have, I have a drink for him, you know, in the evening. Um, but yeah, the morning I, I have my little to get, <laughs> I always cry when I think about my dad, um, to get it out of my system. And yeah, so I, I, and I usually stick a photo of him in here as well. So yeah, it's just, it's my daddy. this is my Funko Pop label that my son got me, Mary Poppins. She is here. I just picked her up because she's drunk and fell over. Mary Poppins, she's been living it up with Alice Cooper. He's flat out as well. Look, stand up, you bunch of reprobates. And then on the back of that is my um, receipt from lunch that my mum took me, Alex and Daryl, out on. A little bit of journaling. This is my card from Daryl. I didn't stick this in yesterday and I felt awfully guilty when I thought about it last night. So I've just stuck it in now. So that's in here. And then this is my lovely card that Gemma sent me, which I just think that is so pretty. But, um, oh, if you want to see the inside of Daryl's, there you go. But that that's my little flower. I don't know whether he drew that or not. I'm going to have to ask, um, I'm going to have to ask Emma whether he drew that or not. But I'm just like... Um, yeah, and this is the card that Gemma sent me. And she sent me some presents. I, sh I showed you the paper packs and that. And it's wrapped in this present, uh, gift wrap. So I've, um, I stuck this on the back of her card. Because I didn't really know where else to put it. And have, because it was large letters, I, it wouldn't have really shown down there what it was and I obviously didn't want to cover any of my writing <coughs> and the back of the card was plain it just had the um, company name that manufactured the card um, so I just stuck the paper on there and then cut it to match the uh, edge of the card so yeah it's, it looks quite neat it's, it's, you see it a little bit but hey what the hell so yeah just cut like that it's lovely I could have stuck it in here I suppose but I just I like that when I turn the page, it's like, hey, look, there it is, it's me. So, yeah, now we're all ready to start today. So, let's go back to the beginning. Um, thank you for your responses to my future log question. Um, for anybody who didn't see yesterday's vlog, um, I'm sort of questioning how to do my future log for, you know, from now on. <coughs> my, my, my future planning usually consists of a log of some kind this is this year's okay um so i have a future log like this and then i do my monthly calendar which you know you you will see it it's it's there what i'm thinking is is doing this is in a separate book, okay? But my issue is, this is not enough room and it gets awfully messy looking, you know? So what I'm thinking is, is that I'm gonna do this calendar for the whole year in in this book. And then next year, I'll make a, a future log for 2020 and it will just be the entire calendar written out like this because I won't need this little page because I will have this in big form like this so it will be a double spread per per month and it only needs to be 12 months you know 12 12 pages so that's what I'm thinking of doing and I mean as you can see I've already got stuff to go in next year but I need to decide what I'm going to do before I actually before I actually go so that was one thought I had and the other thought was to make 12 books and draw the have them here on my desk which could get messy and also if i suddenly decide i want to add something or take something away well the book will be pre-made then so while i quite like that idea it's not going to be feasible i don't think so i think a book 
for the year is going to be maybe the best way to do it. A bit like how I have my A6 where um, I literally just have a book of months. Hang on and I'll grab it. <coughs> and colour code um, this week, next week as well while I'm here actually. I haven't done it yet. See, I mean, my A6 is literally a little book of months like that. And that's it. Uh, the other books are for other stuff you know this is my notebook this is a sketchbook for when i'm going to be out and about and this is for down the road okay but this is my planner that i take out because i don't carry my pop-ins out with me it's too precious so um yeah this is my a6 planner so i'm just thinking i could do a whole book just like this that's my thought and the more i think about it the more i'm leaning towards it so i think guess what i might be doing this weekend I might actually start my future log, I suppose. Right, that's ready for next week. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I wanted to show you these dies that I got. I'm in a bit of a ramble, sorry. Look, I've got these little flower dies. Apparently this is a you build them type die. You cut it all out and then you plonk it all together. And I was just thinking that's big enough to put like a pretty brad in the middle. I've got some nice brads and then I've got these and look at these those are like little heart it cuts out wee hearts all the way around your little banners so I'm thinking of maybe using these for next month for instead of my little presents have little flag banners maybe and then I've got this little I was expecting this to be bigger <laughs> this is a little doily die and it's tiny <laughs> but um yeah oh, i am bummed though because i got the mini um die cutter from aldi it's so sweet look and i thought oh it'll fit that'll fit through there no trouble and it will it'll fit through there but the plates they give you it's it's just a little bit too big for the freaking plates i'm gutted i am absolutely gutted it's not gonna fit on the plate it's gonna overhang ever so slightly which is a real shame yeah literally it is overhanging by like a couple of millimeters so, oh. so i'm a little bit guided about that i haven't used this little mini cutter yet but i've got so many little itty bitty dies that i didn't you know it's a pain to keep getting the big shot down so i bought this little jobby from aldi so all the planners um, community went mad when that came out I bought it I haven't used it <laughs> anyway uh, what were we doing let's get back yes we're getting on with today weren't we I'm sorry so I have done my day face cream Daryl is watching Blaze and the Monster Trucks I think it is um, I am not wearing makeup yet I will be wearing makeup when I go out tonight um I'm not going to pull a card. I'm still feeling right a bit crappy and I'm a bit sort of all disjointed, I think. I just, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to pull a card. Sorry. But that's just the way it goes. I thought someone was knocking on my door then. I was like, what are people doing that for? People knocking on my door. That just doesn't happen. Right. What time did I wake up? About half past two by the look of things. So, half past two to three, I was awake. So, I sort of slept for half an hour, and then Daryl woke up. So, we were awake for a little while. And then, slept until about eight. Yeah, he woke up with pains last night, which is always annoying. And I've got, got upset tummy because it's and I always get upset tummy at that time of the month. Right, yesterday, let's draw me lines in. I keep being neat and putting my pens away and then I'm like, oh, what do I do that for? <laughs> it's in an effort to stay productive and tidy and then I'm like, for fuck's sake, I can't pull the things out of the loops. I can be creative, I'm just messy with it. I cannot be creative and tidy all at the same time. 
Uh, guys, if you could, honestly, if you could see my desk, it's a mess. Absolute mess. And then when I have to put them away, I can't just slip it into a pocket because it's in these stupid rings of elastic. And that's dying slowly. So, um... 12, 2, 5, 6. So it requires two hands, and I think that might be what annoys me about it so much. 5.01. Yay! Not doing too bad. Today, I have... I have... Um... I've done the loo. I've been down the road and painted. And it isn't going to get done this week either because I'm just quite frankly can't be naffed. Right, Ray has been. I uh, did some painting. And tonight is Daniel's Secret in Ride. So let's jump forward to today. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the prompts are... Oh, something else I did which I hadn't been doing was the um the letter prompt so there's best results not migraine i just wrote that in because i'd had migraine um crown that's supposed to be but it came out awful and i didn't write in yesterday's look so right what was the last pen i used i think it was black wasn't it yeah black was the last pen i used so i am gonna for the 21st it's sleek has anybody got a font they'd like me to have a go at that i could maybe practice throughout july that'd be cool a font challenge yeah has anybody got a chat a font that they want me to learn it's got to be readable okay i don't want to do something weird like hieroglyphics because you know it's not something I would use, but a nice snazzy font, maybe. So, yeah, if you've seen a font or, you know, do you want to go find one and challenge me to learn it? I need the full name of it and where I can find a sheet copy. I have got... I have got that one that I downloaded. I have got that one that I found on Instagram that I could do and she did a lowercase, an uppercase and some numbers so I could do that one maybe, I can't remember who did that now so if nobody comes up with a challenge I might spend next month learning that one right, that's enough of that Stop yawning. Let's get on and do the challenges, and then that'll be it. There won't be an evening edition because I'm going out party. Even though I'm ill and dying, and I have man flu, I'm going out because I need a night out. I'm going out somewhere where I don't normally go. So the only people that really should know me are the people that I'm going with, which kind of gives you that little bit of freedom. I mean, you know, it's not like I can go fucking bonkers because A, it's, you know, it's that time of the month. <laughs> and B, um, I'm a little bit old to be going fucking bonkers. Mm. Besides, one of the people I'm going out with works at my son's nursery, so. It's kind of like, hmm. Keep myself under control. A little bit anyway. I hate blowing my nose. I don't know why. Always have done. And mommy, yeah, stop sniffing, blow your nose. Oh, no. It's gross. <laughs> Even though I know sniffing is gross. I only blow my nose when it's like running, <laughs> you know. And I'm going to have an accident if I don't blow my fucking nose quick. And then I'll blow it. For the rest of the time I'm like, nah, that's, that's cool. I'm not going to blow my nose. So, you know, what are your plans this weekend, guys? What are you doing? I was hoping to get on with my garden today. And I had somebody come around that, you know, he used, he used to be my handyman yonks ago. And I rang him up and I said, you know, can you come fit the trellis for me? Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, I'll be down, end of the week. 
No wait, no wait, no wait, no wait. No wait. In the end, I sent a message to look. I'm, I'm not chasing, but when can you come do this chalice? Oh yeah, I'll come tomorrow afternoon. No time, you know, so I was like, okay. So I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and still, you know, still no time. So in the end, I sent him, I said, look, I'm going down the road to do some painting. Give me a half hour notice, please, and I'll get back up to see about this trellis. So he said, yeah, all right then. Don't need to text me. He's like, oh yeah, I'll be down at such such time. Yeah, that's fine, yeah, whatever. He was late, which I I hate that, I really do. I can't abide lateness. So, but I, you know, I brushed it off, I didn't say anything. And then, um, he turned up with no tools. And he wandered in, you know, late. Oh, is that what you want? Yeah, you want that there and that there and that there. Three pieces of trellis, that's all it would take 10, 15 minutes to do. I, I don't have a drill and I'm no good with drills. It would have taken 10 minutes. And he turned up with no tools, nothing. And he's like, oh, I'll come on Monday and do it. I spent yesterday digging up a fucking flower bed because I thought you were coming to do it today. What did you need to look at? It's trellis. It's not hard. I'm really fucked off about it. I'm like, my God. You know? <laughs> so I gritted my teeth and I said, yeah, okay. There goes my fucking great long walk on Monday. So it's me going, yeah, what time are you going to be done? Oh, well, you know. I had about 10, he's like, all right, and I'm like, some of us have things to do. You know, some of us are busy. You should know this. So I'm, I'm, oh, I've got no patience for people. People are assholes, people are idiots. I just don't get why he felt it necessary to come down and view the job first. You know, why he couldn't have, or, and why he made me wait all week just to come down and have a look at it. Why not just turn up with your toolkit? I've told you what it is I want. I want some trellis fence put up, it, trellis put on my fence, please. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to need a drill. You know, he could have even said to me, how big are the trellis pieces? You know, and because um, he's suffering from pain problems. Is there going to be anybody there to hold the things up while I drill them in? Well, yeah, that's what I'm here for. But no, he's like, wanders up, wanders in like he's on fucking holiday. And I'm sorry, but that just wound <laughs> up. Oh, it really did wind me the fuck up. I'm furious. I'm just, this is why I don't do people. People fuck me up. Years and years and years ago. When I was quite young, and those velvet posters come out. Do you know the ones I mean? You would go and buy a, a tube, and in it would be a poster and some pens. And the black bits were like velvet sort of thing. And the idea was was that you coloured in the poster. And my dad bought one for him and me to do. And it was a zodiac one. It was oh, it was stunning. And one of the colours in there was very, very similar to this colour. And we did all of the zodiac signs in, in this colour. It's so, I always remember that poster. Every time I have to draw the zodiac out. So I always tried to do it in this colour, because it was the nicest colour in there. <laughs> and it was the only thing we used this colour for, was doing the... Um, the zodiac signs. It was such a beautiful colour. What happened to that? Funny, isn't it? You do, you do these things as a child and then you're like, hmm, what happened to that? I didn't know this, I just found this out today. That, um, audible credits, you can only store so many. I thought you basically had free reign to store as many as you fucking like. No, you don't, you can only store six. Oh, that shit, they're mine and I should be able to store them for as long as I fucking want. This is very, very old paint on here and I'm trying to pick it up with the green. That colour came about, 
I think I mixed two Tombow pens together to get the original sort of yellowy gold that I started out with in the in the dish and then um, I just chucked some green from one of my Jane Davenport on there. If you're wondering what this palette is, it's a ceramic um, egg holder that I got in Poundland. I saw it in there and I thought that would make a great palette because I used to use my Tombows quite a lot and I haven't used them for a while. I might go back to doing that because I found that quite good fun. Um, and yeah, I, f I remember the other day that I actually find ceramic a lot easier to use as a palette so I think I'll go back to that and I've got two of them. So, easy peasy. Plastic just doesn't seem to want to do the job for me, so that's fine. And that came out quite a good colour. I'm happy with that. Right, um... Got anything I need to stick in there today? <laughs> I seem to be sticking stuff in there every day. <coughs> um, right, I am gonna go and get on with my day. I need to go and have a bath and sort out the fluff that is my hair because it's really fluffy. Really fluffy. Look. <laughs> Oh, wait, wow. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I, I, I wish all of my hair was that colour. I'd love to get the bottom treated so that it matched the top. Because <laughs> it's so obvious when I stopped dyeing my hair. I mean, look at that. Look. It's grey down to there. And then there's that actual line. Maybe when it gets a bit longer, I'm thinking I will just cut it so it'll all be one colour but then I'll end up with really short hair again and it's taken me like three four years to get it this long again after it being the same length as this one it was that short about three years ago and um yeah it's just getting to the stage where I can start tying it up again by itself but yeah I need to do a little bit of work here <laughs> to sort out tidy it up a little bit before I go out tonight so yeah well, I think I splooshed paint in my hair earlier on. Hey, white on white, don't show, does it? Anyway, um, yeah, so if you can think of a font that you think, hmm, you should try that, stick it down below. If you've got a link, that's even better, or a link to um, an Instagram post or something. Um, of lettering that you've seen I would prefer an alphabet or a lots of examples of this writing because obviously I need something to copy okay um, wow my hair's really bad on the back it's so so loose um, yeah so I need like either a full-on alphabet or I need lots of examples that I can copy and um, I'll give it a go for July that could be my challenge for July I don't mind uh, yeah that's all I can think of please feel free to leave me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget the comments down below I love comments so does Daryl because he tells you this when he's here but Blaze and the monster trucks are far too important at the moment. <laughs> if you click the book, you'll be subscribed, and when the bell appears, if you click that and YouTube wants to play nice, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really, really, really appreciate it. And um, I will see you in Sunday's edition of Today in My Bujo. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>